Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm recording. I'm going to light this candle. It's by Tuscany Candle. It's premium marbled wax. Stress free <laughs> with essential oils with wild orchard blended with coconut and sea spray. Now, my daughter needs her diaper changed. So, I don't know how long this video is gonna last, but I'm recording this video because today I, um, yesterday Terrence agreed to take me to Ross and Target today and to get something to drink. So we went to Ross and we went to get something to drink. We ended up not going to Target, but we were out for like four hours, so I can't complain. No, baby, no. We were out for like four hours, so I can't complain. Um, so yeah, so we went to Ross and Target. Went to Ross and we went to go get something to drink. I am drinking something that I picked up to drink today. It is called Limoncello. Lemon Jello, I think I'm saying it right. Anyways, it's a drink um, produced in Italy as like um, to help your digestive tract, but it actually has a high alcohol percentage. Like before this, I drank some Stella Rose wine, and now I'm drinking this. I'm drinking on a full stomach, so it's not really like I'm tipsy, but I'm not drunk. So, cheers. So I'm recording because I want to show you what I got from Ross. Just making sure you're still recording. So I spent um, around 70 bucks at Ross today. I got six items, um, six, uh, five clothing, five clothing items and a pair of shoes. The pair of shoes I'm a little, you know, concerned about because I'm like, they don't fit me as well as I would like them to. They're a little small, even though I got a size eight and a half. It's like, when did my feet get big? When I had Aries or what? Not big, but when did, when did they get bigger? <laughs> but I'm gonna show you the clothing items that I got. So this is something that I picked out. It was one of the first dresses I picked out. I was concerned about this because I thought the pattern would is a little, mature you know it's a little you know I thought, I thought it would age me a bit but it has this like it has like i don't know if you can see but it has like the cups like cups are sewn into it and it, it comes with it's padded like it's not just like a cloth dress like it has pads in it so it's cupped and it has this empire waist It has an empire waist, very defined empire waist. And in the back, I think they call it like shearing. You know, like that kind of fabric to where like it's super stretchy. And um, it cost me, it was originally, according to them, comparable value it says, oh, like I said, I went, for, I went to Ross. Went to Ross, and so you know you like the comparable value. So the comparable value is twenty four dollars. It only cost me fifteen ninety nine. And when I try, and it has adjustable straps, so you can adjust this to um, a tighter strap, like the little button. You can use that or whatever. And I tried it on, and Terrence says. It shows like just enough cleavage to look, you know. Aries? No. Stop. You had fun? Now it's time to stop. It shows just enough cleavage to look like like I'm an adult, you know? Um, but it's not too it's not like revealing, you know what I mean? So it's like a nice cut. I'm probably gonna try these on so you can see. I mean I say it probably I may try these on so that you can see but yeah it shows just enough cleavage not too much he says i look mature in it um he says he was worried about the pattern as well like i said i was worried about it i was like eh, i don't know 
I usually, I love, like, my favorite print, my favorite pattern, my favorite color even when it comes to clothes is floral print. <laughs> I know floral print isn't a color, but that's my favorite color when it comes to clothes, floral print. And so I was like, it's definitely floral. But I thought the, back, the black background and, like, the, the how small the flowers were, it was just kind of, you know, it was just kind of age me. But I, it looks great on. Like because of the way it's cut with the cups and the strap, like you know, spaghetti strap or whatever. Um, and the Empire waist is it doesn't age me. It's just not. It's the concerns that I had were invalid. This just it doesn't happen. Aries, I want you. To stop. No. 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 And it goes down past my knee, like, but above my calf. So it's a pretty good length and it has pockets. Now the pockets are like, instead of being situated on like the side, they're situated like in the front. So that's something, you know, different about the dress, but it's really cute. And like I said, it's only what, $15.99? Yeah, $15.99. So that's this dress that I got. And then, okay. So this top was $10.99 comparable value $14. I I think I saw it the first time I saw it, it was in black. And I really liked it in black. But then um but they but they only had a size large and I held it up. And it's kind of embarrassing to do this like in the store, but I held it up to my boobs. And I was all like, it's way too small. I was like, it's not enough coverage on the side for my boobs so when i saw this extra large in this like pink um coral color i was like well you know it's only 10.99 and you know i didn't have much many things in my basket i was like i'm gonna get it and try it because i really want a corset top and this is kind of like a corset top like you see the way it's it's sewed on the inside and the way it's so down right here, like I'm like, you know, I really want a corset top, so let me try it. When I tried it on, um, when I got home, the for some reason they had like the straps made as small as possible, and I was like, that's not gonna work. I found this in the junior section, and um, so I tried it on, and it's it definitely gives cleavage. Taryn says he thinks that it squishes my boobs too much. I'm okay with that. I don't mind, you know. And I was, but I was kind of on the fence about it when I tried it on anyway. But I like it. I, I feel like it's really cute. I mean, look at that. Okay, so and like I said, that was $10.99. Then I got this shirt. This shirt, the comparable value is $10.99. The price for Ross was $6.99. I just want to say, for some reason, our Ross, like here where I'm at, it closes at 11 p.m. and 12 p.m., okay? Which I find to be freaking crazy. Okay, like you try to go off and get some food and most of the food places are closed by like 10, 11, 9, you know, like most of the food places. But Ross is open until 11 p.m. and 12 p.m. That's midnight. A clothing <laughs> store in Lafayette is open until midnight. When I Googled that, like to see what the hours were yesterday, and I saw midnight, I was like, this is not, this is not accurate. This is like an April Fool's prank or something. Like, this isn't real. So I called them and they were all like, yeah, we closed at midnight. And I was like, 
what? You know, and when I was standing in checkout, I was gonna ask the lady, like, do you guys get a lot of business, you know, after 10? Like, is that a thing? But anyway, so yeah, they're open until 11 and midnight. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this shirt, like I said, 10 dollars that's a comparable value from Ross. It was $6.99. And it's like a muscle tee. Like he has the like oversized arms, arm holes, you know. Like an acid watch. It says, kind people are my kind uh people. Kind people are my kind of people. And I thought it was sweet. I thought it was cute. Terrence says... When I wear it, it's a lie. <laughs> um, I, I'm i discovering that I am petty. I am petty. And uh, I don't have a problem with that. So yeah, that's that shirt. I really like it. I was thinking about cutting it to make it a v-neck just because... <laughs> I found that lately, I want everything I wear to show my necklace. <laughs> um, so, but So it's really unnecessary for this to be v-neck. It's cute without the v-neck. I just want my necklace to be visible. I just feel like it, I, it just adds a layer of classy femininity. Like I just really like my necklace, so. Um. Then I got this skirt. It uh, oh the compare it doesn't have a comparable value, but the the Ross price is eight ninety nine. Let me make sure this is still recording. But the Ross price is eight ninety nine. It's like again, it's like a it's like an orange color. When I was looking at it, hold on. Let me button up the buttons. When I was looking at it, I thought, because often when you see dresses like, like skirts like this or dresses, like the buttons are in the middle. So I thought it went like this. And I'm sure I can wear it like this if I so choose. But actually, if you look where the tag is in the back of the clothing, it's from Walk, by the way. It goes like this with the buttons on the side, like off center as opposed to in the middle little skirt it kind of looks like a linen skirt let me see if i can find out if it's linen let me see hold on it is move for wind or washing i'm supposed to take this off you know what this is probably because when i was trying to leave ross the alarm was going off and the lady like i stopped so that she could check me and i walked through the alarm without like my bag and it didn't go off and then i walked through with my bag and it did go off this is probably what was making it go off but anyways, um, it is 55% linen and 45% Vicros, which are like my, there's, I like cotton, Vicros, and linen. Those are like my top three fabrics. But anyways, so I'm like, okay, okay. it's such a pretty color. It has, you know, this... D these like detail stitching in the top to make it a flare skirt you guys i am gonna have to try these on because i look so classy in this skirt okay and it's a size eight i like in pants i wear like a size like 14 maybe a 12 16 somewhere in there but i went ahead and i got this size eight because i was all like i'm gonna wear this high-waisted so that means this is gonna go on my waist, which means it doesn't need to be a size 12, 14, 16 because it's going on my waist and my waist is not like, I don't have like a snatched waist, but compared to my hips and thighs, it's smaller. So I was like, I think I can get away. Like when I went like this in the store, I was like, I think my stomach can fit into that. I think I can get away with a size eight. I can if it's high-waisted skirt that's a line <laughs> but yeah so that's that skirt and then for the fine oh no this is not the final piece the final piece of clothing you know aside from shoes that i got is ooh, this dress 
The comparable value is $12. The Ross price is $8.99. Okay, you guys, let me see what fabric this dress is because you know how what's on trend right now are like the silk looking um silk satin like dresses like slip dresses you know this is like that <laughs> except it's not because it's stretchy so it's 82 percent nylon and 18 percent spandex and this is her this is she hold on <coughs> oh Excuse me, I don't have COVID. Um, I got it in a size large. Who knows, maybe I could have got it extra large, I don't know. But this is her, you guys. This is her. She has like, like most of the dress is just like one layer, one single layer of like stretchy like satin like looking material but for the breast area she has another layer like you know sewn into the dress so like you you aries no no so excuse me aries oh well i it just made me rip this off, but it's just the kind where you can just safety pin it back on. But I don't plan on returning it. I like it. You know, Terrence was all like, you know, he's he doesn't really, this is, he likes it, but he doesn't like it. Like he likes the color, you know, the theory of it. But like when I try it on, he's like, eh. But oh, you guys, I like her. I like her a lot. Um, it's so tight and the fabric is such a way that you can literally see my stretch marks through the dress and you're all like, why would you like a dress like that? Hear me out. It's cute. Okay. It's a cute freaking dress. It's cute. I don't, I've never bought anything like this. I don't own anything like this. I feel like I can wear this with my Fashion Nova jacket and it would be super cute. I like her. I totally am gonna have to try these clothes on. Just so you can see this dress. Like my favorite part is like the, from like the empire waist on up. It's so cute. Anyways, I'll let you see for yourself. But yeah, one more thing. I got a pair of shoes that, you know, kind of fit me, but are kind of too narrow that like they could be wider. But let me show you because I was all like, I don't have any cute shoes. You know, I got those fashion over boots, but they're like, it's like, am I, can I really wear those like casual, but cute? You know what I mean? Like, can I wear them casual, but cute? They're kind of extreme you know what i mean and then i have tennis shoes and then i have toms which are not they're cute but they're more casual than cute and i'm like i need cute shoes so let me show you what i got what i got i got these shoes now they're supposed to be terrence made from them. he's like these are jesus sandals he hates jesus sandals so I got these shoes, they're, they're supposed to be a size eight and a half. They fit a bit tight to me, but Aries likes them, I like them. I think they're really cute and they only cost $13.99. And like the other shoes that I saw that I liked were like $30. And I was like, do I really wanna spend $30 on a pair of heels? Because they were heels and I was all like, how often am I going to wear heels, especially with my knees? After trying on those Fashion Nova boots that I got and seeing how they hurt my knees at first, I was all like, oh my gosh, my knees affect more than just me working out or working. They affect the kind of shoes that I wear. So I was like, let me get some flats, some cute flats, and you know, so that I can actually wear them often and not be in pain when I wear them. So that's why I got those. But anyways, 
I plan on trying on these clothes so that you can see what they look like on your girl. This is his dress. Like I said, you can literally see. You know, but not the best stuff, but like I said, I've never had a dress like this before. Um, I really love, like, from this part up, because uh, I really like spaghetti straps and it gives my breast support without me having to wear a bra. I really love this dress. And if the dress shows this tattoo, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And I'll show you the rest. This is the skirt. I use like specifically, I wanted to go look at the skirts. Um. So I was like, I don't have enough skirts. I like skirts. I like dresses. So I knew specifically I wanted to go look at the skirts. Like I said, this is a size 8. Um, yeah. I like the color. I like that the buttons are on this side instead of in the middle. It's kind of pockets, but you know. And it goes past my knees. I just feel like I look so feminine, so classy. Oh, I like her. I love her. Here's the shirt. This is the shirt. You know, I feel like I'm like a strong woman with the way that it's cut. So yeah, that's the shirt. I think it's fine. I could have preferred it in the black, but Aries. I could have a print in black, but I'll rock with this. I think it's really cute. You know, obviously sexy because of how much cleavage it shows. But I love it. Um, so you can see my necklace really cute. And yeah, that's that. Here's this dress. Yeah, so this is this dress. Like I said, um, it shows you know, some cleavage, but not like overt cleavage, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, the pockets in the front. The infant in the waist, like it's very fitted right there. It of course shows my necklace, which I love. Mm -hmm. And let's put that a little lower so that you can see where it goes. Like right below my knees. So yeah. And I don't know where it is, but my shoes. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, 
Y'all, I wanted to try on my shoes for you, but I seriously don't know where the hell Aries put them. I've walked around the house twice. I know they're in here somewhere. I'm not finding them. <laughs> but yeah, so that was my Ross haul. Now I'm gonna show you the alcohol that I got. So I got three bottles of alcohol for approximately, excuse me, um, like $31. $32, $35, somewhere around there. So I got Stella Rose Black. It is a, let me see, 0.5% alcohol by volume. Um, I've already drank this bad boy. Yeah, Stella Rose, Stella Rose Black is actually really good tasting like when it comes to wine it tastes pretty good then i got this barefoot friscato in the flavor apple there was like apple blueberry and strawberry um i got apple you know um concerning terrence's recommendation because he was all like which one has the least i was like which one should i get apple blueberry or strawberry and he was like which one has the least i was like apple and he was all like well apparently that's the one to get and i was like all right so i got this apple it is 7.5 percent alcohol by volume I got this bad boy um because i drink because i like the flavor but i also want to get tipsy so that's why the alcohol by volume is important to me and then I got this limoncello, um, Italian lemon liquor. I had this when I visited Italy when I was like 17, 18 years old. It is, it is 0.25% alcohol by volume. So people take this stuff like it's a shot because it's such a high alcohol by volume. But yeah, I got this. So tonight I drink this and some of this. So yeah, this is so good. Like when I drink this, I don't like to just like put it in my mouth and be like, I, have to put, I put it in my mouth and then I taste it. I savor the flavor, you know, I let it sit in my mouth for a while and then I swallow. So yeah, limoncello. And I was all like, because we went to a I think it's called like Total Wine or something like that here in Lafayette. We went there and I was all like, I won because I saw dessert wine. So I said, I wonder do they have limoncello? And Terrence was all like, you should ask somebody. And at first I wasn't going to, but then someone walked up to us, a worker. Someone walked up to us and asked us like, you know, you know, how's it going? What's, you know, what's good? And I was all like, do you guys have limoncello? He was all like, yeah, we do. And I was like, what? So here I am with limoncello. It was like 20 bucks, <laughs> but it's so good. Like if you want like something that's like a shot, but you don't want the the freaking horrible flavor to where like you, you need a chaser, limoncello. So yeah, that's what I got today. And we were out for about like four hours. Um, it was a pretty nice day. Um, turns out I got my new schedule. I'm I have to work tomorrow, but then I'm off for three days in a row. That does not usually happen. I'm usually only off for two days a week. So the fact that I'm off for three days in a row is like huge. And I'm assuming my boss is doing the thing to where each person is off three days in a row for the month. So I'm assuming my other coworkers are going to be off three days in a row as well like later on in the month and i'm also because of that i'm assuming that i'm gonna have long work weeks to allow them to be off so i have to enjoy my three days while i can um i had a long work week before this two-day break that i had I, I worked like nine days in a row something like that so just enjoy being off while i can it's very important to me that I enjoy being off of work while I can because it's very important to me that I don't center my life around 
working. Like, I want to have a life outside of work. So yeah, Aries is sweeping the floor. And I just baked a cake. Let me show you. I'm in the middle of cleaning up, so, you know, disregard everything. So I baked this cake. This is, it's Duncan Hines Epic Fruity Pebbles Cake. I forgot to mix in the Fruity Pebbles. And I wasn't excited about them anyway, so I'm not upset. I'm waiting for the cake to cool down. It feels cool except for the bottom. In the cake comes two bags of conf of, 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 of frosting um, because you're supposed to bake the cake in two separate pans. So there will be like a middle layer of frosting as you can see on the box, but I, you know, I just baked it in one pan. So I'm gonna put them both on the top. Now we got strawberry frosting to go with it. Because I told Terrence I wanted strawberry frosting, but you know, we got a cake that came with frosting, so I'm gonna use this frosting. The cake mix tasted pretty good, so I'm doing that. I'm gonna ice the cake. It feels like it's ready for me to ice it. And I am also washing clothes. If you hear that little jingle, it's the sound that our washer makes when it's done so i'm washing clothes it smells so good i'm washing clothes i'm gonna dry those i'm gonna take these out of the dryer and i plan on putting up all of the dry clothes these are clothes that we just recently washed oops uh oh <laughs> there's aries of course these are clothes that we just that we as an i just recently washed and i have to fold and put away and so yeah, that's where I record the video. Yeah. Oh, that.